Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic pressure sensor with Velostat and conductive thread. I have two pieces of conductive thread here and a small piece of Velostat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape the one piece of the thread on one side of the Velostat and I'm going to tape the next piece on the other side of the Velostat. And doing that, I need to leave a little bit of thread that's overhanging. just like this, okay? That's one side of it, and now I can do the other. Maybe start here. You can just use any kind of good old scotch tape that you have, as I am. Okay, and you see that that thread's kind of hanging off, and we now kind of have a sensor that we can clip to. So what we need to do now is we need to create some connections. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take two wires. They can be anything that you want. Okay, one's going to be for ground, and the other one's going to be for the analog signal. And instead of soldering this, we're going to test this one out. Um, I usually try to test things out and then I solder at the end. And what we want to do is we want to clip the end of this to an alligator clip. Right? And we want to do the same for the next one. Okay, now that we have those two clipped to those, we want to clip to one end of the sensor, like this, and then we want to take the other one that we had and clip to that other side and other kind of overhanging of the sensor. All right, and then now what we need to do is we can now take these two items and put them into the breadboard and put them in at, you know, whatever analog input we want and then to ground. And so what that's going to look like, it's, I'm going to show, um, I've already set it up. So we now have this hooked up. We've connected each side of that string to one of these alligator clips on each side. And probably just want to put it down like that, nice and flat. And this coverage will now send out a signal, and we've taken one of these clips and we've clipped to these um, yellow and black um, wires. Black is going into ground, okay, and the yellow is going to go into analog zero. And so what we have now is that we have a sensor that we can uh, now start to use, and we're going to use a spark core to read that analog um, input at A0 to see what the values are. And we can start to work with it now. But that's the easiest way to hook up uh, a pressure sensor that doesn't give you a whole bunch of granularity, but it does definitely give you if someone touched it.